Well, the focus is on Facebook once again. The social networking site has released its first earnings since becoming a publicly traded company. Even though sales did beat expectations, investors were not impressed. The stock continued to sell off after the earnings, down 10.7% in after hours. For more details on Facebook earnings, Karina Huber joins us now live with more. Karina. Michelle, yes, this is one of the most anticipated earnings in the tech space in a very long time and the perfect opportunity to fa for Facebook to regain the confidence of investors, get the stock back on track after it was derailed by the uh, botched initial public offering. But despite better than expected sales and earnings that came right in line with expectations, ultimately Facebook failed to impress. Expectations were running high on Facebook's initial public offering. When its shares started trading on the Nasdaq in May, most expected the price to soar, but it did just the opposite and continued to slump for months, making it one of the most disappointing high-profile IPOs of the year. Which is the personal on Thursday, the stock hit the new lows of $26 a share as the company handed in what is likely to be its most watched earnings report card ever. Facebook posted a net loss of $157 million U.S. million on $1.18 billion in sales most of it coming from advertising. While the results were in line with or better than expectations, revenue growth is slowing and investors were unconvinced Facebook had a strong enough strategy to increase ad revenue in the ever-growing but largely untapped mobile space. The challenge really for any advertising-based company, and this goes to Google and this goes to Facebook, is you're seeing a transition in activity with a lot more volume on the mobile side but from a revenue standpoint or a monetization standpoint, the business models are still, still being developed on how to take advantage of this transition in audience. The stock was also hurt by disappointing earnings from gaming company Zynga, which is a key partner of Facebook and was responsible for 12% of Facebook's revenue last year. Another disappointment, Facebook gave no guidance on future performance. Quarterly performance can fluctuate significantly, uh, both favorable and unfavorable. So there are times when I think companies choose to not provide guidance because they're running the business for the long term. I grew up with the internet. Right? I mean, I, on the positive, I, I mean, founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg was on the earnings call, which many saw as a crucial sign to show he takes investors seriously. And Facebook continues to attract new active users. They now total 955 million, up from 901 million in the first quarter of this year. Now, how Facebook will monetize those hundreds of millions of active users without turning them off by excessive advertising remains the key to Facebook's growth going forward. Michelle? All right. Thanks very much, Karina Huber, joining us live.